Breaking news on ABC 17 News at 10. Crews are responding after a train apparently crashes into a car in Boonville. It happened just before 8.30 near the Isle of Capri. ABC 17's Lucas Geisler joins us now live from the scene. And Lucas, what do we know so far? Hey, Marissa and Joey, we know that just an hour ago, a Staff for Life helicopter left with the person in the car uh, with apparent head injuries. We're told by the Boonville police that the person in that car was responsive to emergency personnel. Now, this is about as close as I could get um, anywhere on a public sidewalk to the scene right now. We'll zoom in, and excuse me with the light here, we'll zoom in a little closer to the scene past an Isle of Capri parking lot right now to the scene right now as I try to get this into focus. Here is the silver car in question that was hit by the train. Now, again, it's a little hard to see not only the distance, but you see it's behind a gate there next to these train tracks, as well as some other personnel that are looking at the, looking at the situation and investigating right now. A viewer did send us some video closer to the scene earlier when this was all happening around 8.30. Now, he says that the Staff for Life helicopter landed near this gravel lot here and took the patient to the hospital. We're told they only believe one person was in the car at the time of the crash. And again, we're, what we are still trying to figure out and we're following up on with the Missouri State Highway Patrol who's leading the investigation here is how that car got in between the fence and the railroad tracks. We're told this fence runs for the most part all the way from the Missouri River Bridge to the Isle of Capri with some other gates though in between um, from different from various businesses that are along uh, that are along the Missouri River all the way to the Isle of Capri. We will stay on scene, follow up with the Missouri State Highway Patrol, and let you know everything that they know right now on this investigation. Reporting live here in Boonville, Lucas Geisler, ABC 17.